Okay, okay. Okay, so we're making some Mexican. It's Taco Tuesday here at the Murray's. So, usually I do a bean one and then add some chicken to anyone who wants chicken. But I don't have any beans today somehow. Well, I have the dried beans, but I forgot to prepare them. Um, and so when you're working with dried beans, you need to cook them for a while or soak them in water the night before. So if you forget, then you can use the can, which are not as great, but um, I don't have, I don't even have canned ones today. So I'm just making chicken, sort of taco, or uh, fajitas, and my daughter likes the hard taco shell, and me and my son like the soft corn taco, and then my husband likes the flour, and we use them a lot, so I get all three different kinds, and we put the same thing inside of it, so it sort of seems like I'm making three different meals, but not really. I'm just I'm making the same thing. We're all putting it in something different. So that part I can do. I don't usually like to make too many different things for people, but there are easy little things to do with a lot of food that changes it, but um, doesn't make it too much more work. So the chicken, I just got the pan hot. I already made, actually, my... Um, I made a mixture of onions, garlic, tomato, red pepper, and cilantro. And now I took it, I made it in this pan, I took it out it's right here, and I um, am now just cooking the chicken. So I let it get pretty hot. I put it in the pan on one side. These are just chicken tenders. And notice I don't have a ton because of the filling and the other stuff. And I should probably make some rice. You have enough food where you don't need tons of meat, and I usually use more than that, but that's just what I have left over. And also, while I'm cooking that, I'm going to, to shred some, or grate, I should say, some of this cheddar cheese. So I'm going to grate this cheddar cheese. Hold on one sec. Where is my thing? My grater is right here. Sorry. Cool. I'm fine. Okay. And then. And baby, not like when you're doing it, maybe just look up to this angle. This thing? Yeah, yeah. We need to do something. You want to talk about something? Yeah. So that's how the brown, the outside brown. Like I said, it's only a couple minutes. And so, and then I'm grating. I just use this box grater, put it down. You could do it on a food processor. It would of course go a lot faster, but. So fine. Um, we can get like a little bit of like an arm workout going. So I'm gonna this. I have a gigantic block of seeds, and maybe it's sad, but we'll go through that in a week. So I um, just cut off a piece of it if I can, and then I grate. It's easier to hold this and grate it than grating that whole big thing. So that's about how much I'll grate. I'm going to take off this chicken. I'm going to put it onto, I'm going to turn the heat down to low. And I'm just going to take this off of here and let it sit just for a second. So all the juices, so when we eat our chicken, it's going to be nice and juicy. But I am going to cut it up and mix it with this, um, with um, this tomato, onion, red pepper, mixture and so I'm going to do that and just let this sit down or not sit down just sit here for a second I'm going to put a little bit more olive oil into here and I'm going to put this mixture that initially cooked in here back inside into the pan so it's just really hot this is all cooked all the way through but there we have that, and it's off. The pan is just still hot from before. And now I'm going to cut up the chicken into pieces that can fit inside a taco. So I'm using this, uh, what's it called, tongs? Yeah. And so I'm just holding the chicken, and I'm just going to cut it into little pieces. And I like that it doesn't cut off and it's not in, like, little square cubes. It's sort of shredded almost. And it's just how the knife, I don't press down too hard, and it's sort of just how the knife breaks it apart. And then once a piece 
is cut, I can put it back in with this mixture. Again, the heat is off right now. I'll probably warm it up right before dinner because I still have some things to do, the cheese to shred. And this is actually something that can sit for a while and maybe even get a little bit more flavorful when you you uh, let it sit in its mixture for a while. So, and then, so I'm just going to continue cutting these and then come back. I'm going to shred the shred the cheese with my box grater or grate the cheese. What do I keep saying that for? And then, um, and then I'll see you back here in a second. time between next how much time mm. until you have something more say? Like a couple minutes, I just want to grate the cheese and so now here's what you have to do because if it's only that much, I want you to fill and learn the art of filling mm. by talking it's you, too, I just filled for so long. But but we want people to real time cook to this. So while that's cooking, whether it's explaining it's about anything, I mean it's part of I'm not you know, you're not gonna turn into Rachel or Anna, you don't want to be, but just those things like why you use that cheese, what Anything that you want to just fill with, and then you can go back to what you're just physically doing. But you have to get a little philosophical. So let's just try that, like whatever it might be. Why you like it, healthy, Mexican, I don't know, whatever comes to mind. Okay. And, okay, action. All right, so I'm not done grating this cheese. I used a block. You could get cheese that's already grated, but this, you don't know how long it's been in the plastic bag and grated, and it's just more flavorful, but... I totally use the bag cheese. It's better than, you know, ordering out or something. So those things are great, but, and you could put this in a food processor and that would make it go a lot faster, but it's fine. I sort of like doing it. Um, it's sort of like chopping. Some people want to, you know, chop things faster, but when I have the time, obviously after work and on a school night, you don't want to be chopping vegetables for hours, but I find it quite therapeutic. So, um, and then of course I use chicken, but you could make beef, pork is great. Um, some, um, the easiest or quickest is fish. You could throw in a mahi mahi or something that's sort of sturdy. You always see those, um, those, those, um, mahi mahi fish tacos. I mean, they're delicious. Okay. That's a lot of cheese. I really don't even need that much. Well, maybe my husband will. But I've already grated it, and so whatever I don't use, I'm going to put up in a Tupperware and put away because um, we'll use it during the week and on pizzas and whatever else. So now it's just about what we're filling this into. And again, you can have sides of corn and rice, some beans. Like I said, I don't have any. So me and my son like these soft corn tacos, which for some reason my husband thinks, I don't know that they're the worst things in the world, but, so I'm going to, I have a gas oven, and I just put it right on, I mean, oven stove, I'm like totally spacing, that um, I put it right onto my um, burner here on the stove, and it takes a second to heat up, but I just put them on there, you can lift up and see how it's going. I'm going to grab a plate up here. Let's see. I'm going to grab a plate and I'm just going to prepare one of these. And so in here there was um, tomatoes, red peppers, garlic, onion, cumin, salt and pepper, and some cilantro. I'm going to add a little cilantro. And as I cooked all, or cut all these things up, I actually left a little bit raw. So you have I cut up an onion to throw in here, but then I also take about half the onion. Uh, I cut up about two onions, so a half of one I put into here. Then I have cilantro, which is also in here, but I left some raw. And then tomatoes, when I was cutting up the tomatoes, I also left some raw. So everyone can add that freshness to this, the salad, where it's uh, the raw stuff uh, keeps it crunchy and just gives it a little bit different texture. 
So now I'm done. There's just a little bit of burnt pieces and it becomes a little harder when you cook it so it's not going to fall apart so much. And then I just put uh, place the, the filling. That's pretty much enough filling for me. And then I'm going to put some raw onions, which I love to death. And then some cilantro, which I love as well. Some fresh tomatoes. There's tomatoes cooked in there and onions, but it just gives it a different... Cooked onions and raw onions taste different. Same with tomatoes, same with um, pretty much everything that's cooked. In. And then the last thing I'm going to do, which I made, which I make whenever or ends up happening that I'm making Mexican for dinner, our after school snack, or the major one, is guacamole with some pita chips or regular chips. And so I already made that and I put tin foil on the rest of it that I don't need. And then here is one corn taco. Enjoy. Maybe I'll try it. It's good, but of course, I totally forgot. Hot sauce. Mexican food. Well, to me, every food needs hot sauce, but certainly do I not have any? Uh-oh. Now what, Daddy? Mm -hmm. Looks like oh, you're here. Ready to Irish style. Hmm? Irish style. Irish style? Um, I'm not going to cut it, but... Ooh! Okay, so I thought I didn't have any, and so I got... I have different hot stuff for different um, foods. So I was going to use this. This is... I never can pronounce it. Sriracha. I pronounce it, but there's an A at the end, so sriracha. It's more of an Asian spice or hot sauce, and so I use it for, you know, Chinese food and Japanese food and stuff like that, dumplings, but this is my Mexican hot sauce, which is, it's called Melinda's, but it's XXXXTRA, so it's extra hot, but really it's not that hot, but, I mean it is, but I just like a lot of hot food, so that's what it was missing, but you could squeeze some lime, there's lime in the guacamole, I don't have any more left, but Sometimes I squeeze lime on top. You can add cabbage. It's a good lettuce to have in here. I don't really have anything. Um, of course, add whatever you like, add other kinds of cheeses. Mm. That's more like it. It is perfectly yummy and healthy. There's, you know, tons of raw things in there and chicken and cooked onions and the, what's bad in Mexican food is the oil and the tons of cheese, and we really didn't use that much cheese in this, or oil, so pretty healthy. All right, thanks for joining me, and I will see you next time. I know, I'm like, can you stop so I can finish? Mm. I'm trying to get this shot of you. Oh, it's all done. <laughs> no, I mean the food? Yeah. How do you think it is? Look at this is a mm -hmm. How, This is a different thing. Oh. Is it good? It's very good. It's very good. Cool. Asha, babe. Asha, babe. Where is she going? Asha, honey. Where is she? Okay. One, two. So I want to blow that. Yeah.